engineers and developers and doing software stuff. And the, the open source hardware movement fascinates us. Um, basically, it makes us um, possible to make electronics without learning too much. Uh, we, can, we can really build our own phones and build our new cars, like, you know, in hours or in days. Originally, we need to learn deeply, I mean, fundamental knowledges, and um, to start to creating, like, electronics. That's engineering stuff. But now, no. Uh, we have um, open source community. <laughs> Don't kill the hostage. I can see this movement is, is just growing rapidly, and uh, there are much more, more and more designers and the uh, people who, who, who have no coding backgrounds, just they are willing to jump inside the circle. They, they, are, they are trying to uh, play inside the field, and I can see as these people, they are not engineers, but they have a lot of uh, crazy ideas. So yeah, I can I can see there will there will be much more interesting devices that will be uh, coming out in the uh, next five years. So I can see well things are getting much more interesting in the future. Yeah, they, they want to make more interesting interaction devices for the uh, final users. So I can see. Um, that will change the business model for our companies because more and more individual developers and the designers they are trying to uh, get things done by their own self. Um, in China, the whole process of design and manufacturing is connected and is fluent and frictionless for anyone. The advantages of working here is basically everything, everything um, from design, building, and um, to prototype, especially in manufacturing, is actually it's really easy to get access to. Um, you, can, you can give a call and the factory will just send the PCB board you need right in front of your house in like two days. Um, and the cost will be nothing, like just grab a coffee and um, wait for a PCB. In China, um, we are still chasing like high-tech solutions uh, rather than doing um, refined package about like um, mid or low-tech solutions. The way I can see um, the trend actually I can, I can tell about open source hardware community here um, is more designers and more artists gonna join the team and more schools gonna use the platform as extra value. Um, there are a lot of VC capitals um, out there hunting for new TMT solutions. Um, recently, you can see there are 3D printers. There are more like um, more interesting consumer electronic electronics coming out in Kickstarter, right? Um, but here in China, actually, people are still working on that, and it's going to be a huge market here um, for. For the rel relatively isolated market, I think it's going to be another special wave in China.